The City Edition jerseys for every single team were leaked before the NBA season started, and I gave my initial reaction in a short-form video that I think can be cleared up because I think a lot of these jerseys are better or worse than my initial reactions. As of like the last two days, every single NBA team has dropped some sort of video or graphic or just photos of their players in these City Edition jerseys. So now we can get a real opinion, kind of see these jerseys on the players and offer up some real thoughts on what these jerseys look like. So let's start off, of course, with the Atlanta Hawks. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I love this Fly City Edition jersey. Fly for Hawks, right? The blue is for the blue skies. I think the blue is nice. If you go back, I think they're trying to redo these jerseys. And as good as these jerseys are, I think these are way better. I love the blue. The blue isn't something I normally associate with Atlanta. So I'm glad that they kind of mixed it up. I like when teams mix up colors like this and kind of do something a little bit different. This is a good jersey. I don't know how I'm going to rank these. We'll go on like a scale of 10. I'm going to give this like an eight and a half. Next up, we have the Boston Celtics and I'm not, I'm going to play the full video, but I'm not going to play it with sound. Maybe I'll add some sound for fun later on, but whatever. So this jersey, I've never been a fan of from the beginning. I wasn't a fan of it. Still seeing it, not a fan of it. This for me is like a, I don't know, five out of 10, six out of 10 for me. It does nothing. It doesn't really give me that Boston feel. Let me know your guys' thoughts on that one, but that's one of my least favorites out of all of them. So next up, we have Brooklyn, of course, and this is pretty decent. What the... I just want to click on the I can't open the photo it takes you okay this is dumb I can't open the photo or it takes me to a, their website to buy their jersey I don't want to buy any of your stuff though we have, we have the Brooklyn jerseys here cause x city edition Brooklyn jerseys pretty decent I like the um the outline of the lettering it's kind of fun but it has that normal gray scale kind of Brooklyn feel to it I like the basketball actually I think they show it on one of the next slides here yeah I actually kind of like this look here's some more jerseys Ben Simmons our goat the gray scale is pretty decent the Brooklyn writing's pretty decent Brooklyn has some pretty decent jerseys every year this one's like a seven for me which makes me feel like Atlanta's like a nine at this point because I like this a lot more than Atlanta but this one's okay hey we have these Charlotte Hornets here Brandon Miller looking pretty good in the jersey the smoke and like the lighting and all all this is kind of throwing me off and what this jersey actually could be but we've seen this plenty of times from charlotte it's nothing new and i'm not a huge like it's not like that i'm not a fan of it but it's more or less i've just seen it so much and it's nothing different that like i don't i'm not in love with this so once again this is like a, a six for me i might have to drop austin off to a five at this point but this is like a six in my opinion chicago 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 now this is like too many filters too much everything on this i can't actually get a judgment of the jersey itself there's a lot going on with just like the shadows the colors the this you know everything about this image in general is making it tough for me to actually see the jersey this is like a, a six and a half seven for me it's a, this is nothing crazy i don't feel like this is, this is a chicago bulls jersey this feels more of like a new orleans pelicans type jersey for me once i once again i can't really see because the graphic is just like tinted in that color to give it that full like gold feel can't really see the jersey though yeah yeah this one this one's a hit yeah this is this is mm. I think in my original video, I said this was a chef's kiss. And once again, this is a chef's kiss of a jersey. Yes. Beautiful. I don't like the Cliffs logo up here. What is Cliffs? Don't know. But I don't love how big the logo is. It's like almost touching the land. But like the entire side of the jersey, I wish I could see more of that. Oh, here. They posted more. So the entire side of this jersey, it looks like it's old Cavalier logos, maybe. Either way, this is so clean. They did so good with this. I'm going to rate this one like an eight and a half, maybe nine. It's on the scale of like the Hawks, probably better than the Hawks jersey. But we'll check out Dallas here next. Once again, it looks like it's going to be something similar to what we saw with the Hornets, as in like, I can't really see the jersey because of the coloring and the lighting and all of this. But I like the side of this jersey, this little like pinwheel looking thing right here, even though I know it's not a pinwheel. It's it's kind of showing up here in the uh, S and I think the V. Here's the V and the S, kind of like the side of the jersey, but I'm not in love with it. I think it looks a little small, maybe. The two should go lower and I think the Mavs could be blown up bigger, but it's not bad. Any other like better images of it? It's not, it's not amazing by any means though this is like a very mediocre jersey the Cavs, or i think the mavs could do better than this i'm gonna leave it with like a six and a half 
The Nuggets. Denver, Denver, Denver. A lot of people now have talked about like the side of this jersey is phenomenal. The side is great. Absolutely love the side of the jersey. And then you get to the front. The ele We get the elevation, man. The first year you guys put the elevation on the jersey, pretty cool, right? The second year, okay. The third year, okay. Fourth year, fifth year, sixth year. This is year like nine using the elevation on a jersey. I could have used this jersey in like 2K14. Get rid of the elevation. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm so passionate about that, but I don't love the elevation on the jersey anymore. Do something new. I do like the mountains though within the number. It's kind of cool. But like I said, the side of the jersey does a lot for me. This is like a, a seven and a half for me. Don't love the font and the elevation on the front, but the side of the jersey and the colorway of everything, it looks good. Seven and a half for Denver. Who the fuck is this? Detroit basketball. Yes, sir. We like this. This is the type of stuff we like. Now, there should be better images than this, I believe. Like here's Cade in it i love it so originally i think what the whole like spiel for this is we're going back to like the bad boy pistons bad to the bone and that's why the jersey is like bone color it's bad to the bone it's got the old like pistons bad to the bone font or like bad boys font i love the logo on the shorts i wish i could see that more okay let's watch the video then back to back on it for the back to back championships 89 and 90 it's pretty good honestly i like the switch up of the color i don't think it like distracts too much from the fact that this, this is the pistons we can tell this is the pistons i like it but maybe i'm biased this is a nine for me definitely a bias right definitely bias big sean in the jersey it's good dude it's a good jersey why are you guys arguing with me i feel like i'm beefing with somebody and i'm beefing with nobody i just can't stop there it is it's down there it looks good the jersey looks good okay we'll move on i'm gonna stop glazing the pistons i'm gonna stop glazing golden state warriors what do you got for me what do you got for me we got a video again lots of videos here sorry it's not centered on the screen but i didn't set up my screen for it to be centered for videos but once again listening to with listening to this with no audio a lot of the video or the jerseys not being shown right now i'm just seeing bridges cars bridges and cars are they going to show the jersey or am i gonna have to like hunt for the jersey did i go to their website to find the jersey now bad the video was cool but it didn't show me the jersey and then bad not good. This is one of their worst ones. This font is terrible, bro. This is one of the worst warrior. This is the worst one we've seen. This little logo right here in the bottom is kind of cool. Still bad Jersey, not good Jersey. Next. I'm not watching a whole five minute video for you to not show me the video or the Jersey either. This one, the Houston Rockets up next. See, this is the kind of like graphic. That's the word I'm looking for. This time kind of graphic I'm looking for. H town is way too big though, but the Jersey is not bad. Actually, the Jersey isn't bad. I don't love how big H town is on here, but I do love the graphics that they added with this. I think they did really well for the back to back championships. They're doing the stripes. Once it says uniform trim mirrors the iconic shape of the championship banner that's cool that's pretty cool what is this the summit center court logo honors where both of our championships tipped off what is where is this on the jersey though i'm confused oh it's this little swish thing over here that you guys can't see i don't know believe it again the rally cry during the second title where is that on the jersey oh i think it's at the bottom of the jersey like think it's down there you just can't see it. it'd be like down on fred van vliet's like waist that's pretty decent i love the graphics the context they gave with it it's like a seven jersey for me next we got to move on the pacers we gotta start going faster ripping through these because i spent like 10 minutes already 11 minutes 12 minutes actually okay decent looks like it's every year i don't like the videos because i feel like the the quality of the video is not great but the quality of the graphics have been really good it's pretty good though seven and a half pretty good seven and a half for me i've already seen these i don't know if you guys have seen these you've probably seen all of them but this opened full screen for me and you're not gonna be able to see it full screen on your screen very sorry for that a uh, bunch of blue goo monsters taking over LA. The blue goo monster, the blue goo monster, more of the blue goo monster. Show me a jersey. Show me a jersey. Show me a jersey. Show me a jersey. No. Okay. No jerseys. There's not going to show the jersey. It's got I, It's got to be on their website then, right? Or am I just stuck with looking? Here we go. Okay. It, okay. Thank you. I was like, why am I seeing the blue goo monster? This one is okay. I, I kind of like the the two basketballs in LA. It gives me a retro jersey vibe with like the basketball for the eye and clips. The jersey itself is boring. The font, 
I think is kind of fun personally. But for how boring the jersey is, it's like a six and a half, six. But that's just me personally. The Lakers, the Lake Show. I'm done with the I'm done with the videos. I learned that I can just scroll through their Twitter and find a photo that they posted of the jersey. And of course it takes me to their website. God dude. I don't want to do these anymore. The videos are bad, bro. Videos don't show me the jersey. This one actually does show me the jersey. It's like, it's not like the Warriors though. The Warriors didn't show me anything about the jersey, but this isn't okay. To be honest, Lake Show on the jersey. For Lake Show, I think of Showtime Lakers, right? Which I think of a gold jersey because of the gold lighting of the Staples Center when Magic and Kobe and all these players were wearing, winning championships. And back in, in the day with the Showtime Lakers, it was like the gold jerseys, those clean gold jerseys and the gold lighting. And I'm not feeling that vibe whatsoever from this. It's a big miss for me because the Lake Show could be cool on a gold jersey, like bring back the Showtime Laker vibes, but it misses for me here. The Memphis Grizzlies, clean as ever clean as ever this is like an eight eight and a half eight for me we'll go we'll sell it like an 8.2 absolutely clean man very nice i love it even just the hint of like this blue this the vibe of the jersey the font gives me like like memphis i don't know like music city jazzy like like throwback vibe. i love it honestly miami i've already seen you i'm not a fan of this once again i'm tired of putting multiple like words on a jersey stop the only teams that can do that is New and York, Los and Angeles. That's the only team. My and Amy doesn't belong for two words on a shirt. Stop giving me heat culture. Bad jersey. But I, I kind of like how it's like worn out. Like that's like their tough vibe, I guess. Six. Five, honestly. Probably the worst one we've seen. Bucks. I've told you I'm done with the videos. We, we scroll until we find a non-video, just a picture of them in the jerseys. Perfect. Like Just like this. This is all I need. It's all I need to see boring six six and a half whatever does this line mean anything oh it's the outline of wisconsin of like the state of wisconsin boring bad not good okay actually that's all right not my favorite well a cool six six and a half grizzlies this is one of the worst ones i'll be honest i'm gonna be 100 with you guys the grizzlies a have fallen off completely and i knew this because when they traded cat cat was way better than julius randall but whatever i'm probably one of the biggest julius randall haters out there anyways i saw this jersey right away did not like this jersey right away they haven't posted any photos of this jersey which means i'm stuck to watch their stupid video and it's all, it's blurry. It's like I'm drunk right now. I'm looking at this video like I'm drunk. And I think drunk me would hate this video even more. Would hate these jerseys even more, if I'm being honest. What am I looking at? Oh, and now you show me this dog water jersey. Thank you, Minnesota, for making me feel like I'm drunk looking at this dog water jersey. Trash. Four out of ten. Three out of 10, terrible. This one's one of my favorites, but this is much better. This is what I'm looking for. Yes, yes. This is like, this is the type of switch up I need, okay? The bones on the jersey, yeah. give me a close up of the jersey. Okay, here we got some descriptions. Shorts logo, the skeleton. Dog, that is hard. Too bad I don't care about one player on this team. I don't have one player I care about that I would buy a jersey for. New Orleans now appears above the jock tag, but it's in like bones. Okay. The vibrant green and purple continue to represent the glowing lights of New Orleans at night. Uh, and they're joined by pops of gold. And then the herring bone pattern derived from the bones of the skeleton. This pattern is embossed for a subtle yet striking appearance on the new purple ink uniform. Absolutely killed this jersey, New Orleans. Shout out to you guys. This is such a dope vibe. This is like a nine for me. The vibes of the jerseys are great. Shout out to the Skeleton. The Skeleton is my favorite mascot in the league. That's a nine. This is actually funny because the Timberwolves made me feel drunk because I was looking at this blurry video and now I'm feeling drunk because I'm seeing double once again. And the two teams that traded for each other made each other worse. Absolutely crazy. Even though I don't think trading Julius Randle necessarily made the Knicks worse. Um, honestly, they probably could have gotten better by getting rid of him because he didn't even play when they were playing well. But the Timberwolves got worse by getting him. And I think the Knicks will be better when Cat and all of them start to mesh. Either way, they think the graphic is clean the jerseys are okay i like this nyc with the nike right here it's probably the best part of the jersey and it's up here Ooh, 
Seven and a half for the Knicks. Not bad. Seven and a half. Next up, the Oklahoma City Thunder, an absolute L of a jersey. This one might be the worst. Not worse than the Timberwolves, though. It all started here. The Oklahoma chest mark pays tribute to where our story began in the same arch from the original OA uniform. Fiber energy. This doesn't give me vibrant. It's dark. The jersey is like black, not vibrant at all. The creators, the makers, and the doers who made OK or make OKC the vibrant community it is today. The side piping, chest mark, and lettering are all framed by the by the dynamic energy of the pioneers that ignite positive change in our city. Shout out to y'all for the positive change in Oklahoma City. This jersey's trash. Next, I like this one. Also, by that one, by the way, that one was like a four. This one is good. I like it, but it gives me Dallas Cowboys vibes, which I'm not a fan of the Dallas Cowboys vibes. That's the only thing. It's like the Cowboys colors kind of with this Cowboys star, but the jersey's pretty cool itself. So I actually I'm going to give it like a six, seven. It's a seven, six point eight. 6.7 is what we're ending on because of the Cowboys vibe. 6.7 is what we get. Shout out to the Sixers for not giving me a video. If you don't give me a video, you get a plus 0.5 onto your score. This one's good. A lot of people hated on this one. I think I may have hated on this one earlier when I, they first came out, but I actually really like it. What's on the side of their jersey? Or the, what is that down there? Like Spectrum Health, like like a hospital or something? Is there building like the Spectrum something building owned by Spectrum? What is what's the meaning? I really appreciate like the like we just saw with the Pelicans when they give me a description on what their jersey means and the pieces of their jersey that makes it you know so good and so like attached to the city the same way the Rockets did like these little pieces in the jersey that stick out like I'll memorize forever when I see the jersey I'm like oh that's pretty cool that's from that that's why that is that but this jersey is cool six and a half the Suns they give me a video that I kind of want to watch okay because I kind of understand it. The cactus is a vibe and it, uh, it showed in the beginning if you guys didn't see like the all-star court right there yeah the cactus from the all-star court and then it's on the jerseys now um i'm gonna skip through this yeah that looks so good actually i i love these jerseys because phoenix when you think of phoenix you think of hot you think of desert you think of cactus you think of i don't know at least now for me these colors at this point and they like right here we click through the video there's a cactus on my screen they did really well making me feel like that is Phoenix. They couldn't have done much better. And without using the Valley again, which I think actually the Valley is on there, isn't there? Yeah, but it's not like the same, like the old Valley, you know, when like 2018, 19, 20, when they had Chris Paul, 2021, 20, whatever the years were, like those Valley jerseys, they didn't reuse them again. It's a new idea, new feel, and they did really good. That's an 8.4. Another video, we're gonna give Portland a chance. But if I don't see a jersey within the next 10 seconds, I'm off. I'm off. I'm waterfalls, rocks, bridges. Kind of a jersey. A little bit of a jersey there. Okay, yeah, we're gone. White screen. We're not We're not doing this. Is this their jersey? Is this it? There's no way that's it. There's no way they have this whole ass video for this ass. God, bro. This is terrible. This is terrible. Maybe I've, I've never been to Portland, never been to Oregon. So I don't, I don't know anything about them or the area or it, the place. Jersey's bad. 5.3 out of 10. Is this the best thing that the Kings can offer me is this? Is this worse or better than me getting a video where I can't even see the, I, at least I can see the Jersey. This is probably better than just a video, but this is all I get. I don't get a player. It's just the NBA posted this too. Not even like the king they did it for all of these the kings haven't posted it there's no way okay we have a video from the kings i had to go find it myself shout out to the nba for not attaching the link to their article but so far it's okay i see the vibes at least this is showing me something more than just bridges and water and rocks right but show me the jersey now it, like show me the jersey please those jerseys last year were pretty cool though mm-hmm Oh, that right there is clean. That's money. Uh, if they would do something with like the whole jersey like that, that could be fire. Either way, um, 6.9. A, because 69 is funny. B, because I don't really know what to do. It's not great. It's not terrible. This, this should be good, though. I'm a big fan of San Antonio's jerseys every year. And now we can finally learn about the jerseys. So what do we got here? word mark designed to be expressive and bold as the pop culture fashion entertainment of the era what era are we going for 
70s is what i'm assuming 70s is is the inspired by the denim and leisure suits of the time hazy texas sunsets and tele Televera Mexican style. Sorry if I said that incorrectly or I don't know anything about this. It says 68 right there. So almost the 70s. I'm not going to read all this because I don't have time to read all this. Overall, jersey solid. Um, I'm not mad by any means by the way it looks. Solid jersey. I like the throwback kind of. San Antonio always does pretty well with this kind of th stuff. I do like this though. That's pretty cool. The Tower of America. Is that in San Antonio? Because it looks like it should, it's the Space Needle in, in Seattle. Either way, seven. I think we're getting close to the end. Yeah, three more jerseys left. This one, we have to watch the video, but we all know why this jersey is going to be phenomenal. And it's too bad that they don't have anybody I like up there to even like think about getting this jersey. It'd be almost worth doing this, but just customizing it to get a um, Vince Carter. The video is a lot of skipping and jumping around for me. I'm not a fan of that. Let's go find something else, though. This is cool. The, it's over dunk, and it's the Raptor with, going between the legs with the basketball, just like Vince Carter's dunk. Obviously, that's what the jersey is. I wish they would show the jersey so I could get an up-close view on it. But, like, here's the players, like, seeing the Raptor, which is super sick that is like by far the best statue you could ever do for a player is that the raptor is getting a 9.8 out of 10 no 9.2 out of 10 there's some work that could be done i don't get to see this on a player but whatever i don't need to i've seen this jersey a hundred times in my life and it's still really good but it's like an it's like a 7.6 because it's been redone for so long it's a good jersey and then lastly this one i said was my least favorite which i don't know how i feel now six stars on add an add on add on what does that mean add adorning adorning adore that's how you adore something you adorning the side and body what does adorning mean to make more beautiful or attractive i was on the right like wavelength with a, a door adorning the side and body washington coat arms the triangle benjamin bannikers for whatever boring sleeping uh benjamin banneker who this does nothing for me i'm so i really don't want to read all this stuff it's not that i'm like i'm not trying to get a history lesson on like benjamin banneker i don't know who that is and i apologize benjamin banneker born in 1731 bro What's up, Unc? Let's see what he was best known for real quick. His service as a surveyor on the six-man team which helped design the blueprints for Washington, D.C. Okay. So it's like he kind of like helped design the entire city. Shout out to Benjamin Banneker. You learn something new every day. I had no idea that that is who that was or what he did or existed. And that is my apologies. Either way, we are done with the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoy this type of stuff. Let me know your favorite jersey in the comments. I got to go with the Pistons, of course, because that's my team. R.I.P. Mac Miller. And I love you guys. Peace.